Uh, my name is Patrick Bach and I am the executive producer for Batfield 3 at DICE. Uh, at Gamescom we're showing off, uh, of course, the um, expansion pack uh, called Armored Kill. And we're showing off two maps, uh, Death Valley and uh, Albor's Mountains, uh, which is a, a nighttime map uh, and a snow map. Um, and we're also introducing uh, our premium, Battlefield 3 Premium Edition, which is Battlefield 3 including the premium um, you know, package on top of it. So the Death Valley map um, that we're showing here, we're actually showing off a new game mode called Tank Superiority. Uh, first of all, the map is huge uh, and it's all about vehicle gameplay. And the, this specific game mode is, is very focused on, on vehicles. Uh, that's why it's called Tank Superiority. Um, and the idea with that is to uh, more or less hold a flag, uh, an area, uh, with your vehicles, you, you shield it uh, with your vehicles. And of course there are multiple ways to do that, but there's also multiple ways to take your tanks out. Uh, so it's very, very vehicle focused. The infantry role, um, even on these maps, is of course very important because we know from experience playing Battlefield that there's always a way to counter more or less any attack. And tanks are very slow and vulnerable uh, if you have the right kit as infantry. So there are plenty of ways for infantry to, to play this map as well. In general, you know, it's all about size. The, these, uh, these maps are you know, back to basics. It's, uh, again, it's a nighttime map, which makes it very, very interesting. It's, it's beautiful to see you know, exploding things, exploding tanks at nighttime. Uh, in general, your know, vantage points is like uh, all Batfield maps. There are always uh, a pro and a con with everything. Uh, so to us, the, the, the key uh, for a great map is, of course, balance. So we focus a lot on that. Yeah, so on the show floor we show Albor's Mountain, which is a, uh, it's a quite a different map, uh, but still a huge open landscape. Uh, again, focusing on vehicles. Uh, you can of course play classic Battlefield style with infantry and vehicles, uh, but we also added a gunship, which is more or less roaming the map from above with uh, several positions to, to rain fire down on the, <laughs> on the people below you. Uh, but of course then, uh, if you're a great jet pilot, you can of course you know, use that to your advantage and take it out. You can also you know, use your RPGs, etc. To, to try to take it out. So there's always, again, a way to counter uh, anything on, on our Batfield map. Uh, we actually tried to have you pilot it. It didn't work out fine because people tend to you know, go off map and be where you shouldn't be. And the gameplay, the, the interesting gameplay with the gunship is actually manning uh, the different stations and so you can shoot you know, you know different um, you know, 50 cals etc from it uh, there's also uh, there's also you know a vantage point a spawn point so you can spawn up there and you can choose to you know para drop down or you can spawn on the ground of course and it creates a very interesting vertical gameplay uh, that you haven't really seen on any Batfield map before uh, we don't have air superiority in as a you know as a focus in itself but there is there is a, a new way for pilots to uh, be challenged uh, just because of the gunship because uh, when you when you had the jets on the previous maps you were the biggest fish in the pond and now there's a huge fish in the pond uh, that you can actually fight as well so I think this will be a very very interesting twist uh, for especially for our pilots in battlefield yeah well Vanguard S is, is the biggest map we have ever built you know both when it comes to the actual scale of the map but also uh, if you measure between the flag positions it's you know we haven't built a larger map uh, like all battlefield maps, there are several ways to move around. Of course you can run, uh, it will take you forever if you just want, want to run around on that map. So either it's about how you spawn in on the map, which flags do you spawn in on, and also spawning on your squad, and on top of that you can also spawn in on, on uh, vehicles in some cases, which makes it easier for you to get to the point where you want to. And again, vehicles is of course the way of transport. That's why we added the ATV uh, to the, this expansion pack because ATV is very small. You can, you know, you and a friend can move very, very fast across vast landscapes. So it's a perfect vehicle for for these big maps. Uh, I won't give you any details on the aftermath still because we we still want to focus on the the, the pack up ahead. 
but as you can see, you know, it's a, it, we're bringing back parts from the single plane campaign where we had a, you know, this devastating earthquake, and we have a lot of people wanting us to, you know, why can't I play that in multiplayer? So that's what we're using now as a core and bringing that, you know, chaos into multiplayer. PlayStation 3 Premium members, you, you will start to get the, the uh, next expansion pack on the fourth of September. And then, depending on what platform and if you're a premium member or not, that will roll out later.